welcome back, Trades Confederacy, to another reading. This reading is come out of nowhere. This is kind of odd. Um, I was watching other videos, or actually music videos, on um, YouTube here. And out of the blue come the whole um, thought about... <laughs> I don't know if I said... Texas without laughing. JFK and, and the you know the all the conspiracy that's surrounded his death, right? Well, I'm sitting here listening to these music videos and it can this whole movie it's like the only best way I can explain it is it's like a movie starts in my head. I I see actual vivid pictures and you know, it's just like a, a movie in my head is the best way to describe it. But it's Concerning JFK and the conspiracy around his death. And I know that for years and decades and for all time, it's been said that the government was, was behind that. It was the government's um, hit out on JFK. And I thought that for the longest time. And, you know, I, I'm not saying that they're not involved or they don't have a role in it. But, all of a sudden, this whole, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my notes and read it. Let's see here. They wrote them, I wrote them down. This is how it went in my head. Jackie Kennedy being the complete conspirator behind JFK's death. Now hang with me here. She had multiple miscarriages while JFK would be out running around with Marilyn Monroe and other women she considered cheap or beneath her. Now, this wasn't something that was a private affair. These affairs were talked about all over town. Now, when Marilyn sang Happy Birthday, Mr. President, that was the final straw for Jackie Kennedy. That was the last time that JFK would ever humiliate her publicly like that. Now, the first time that JFK left town after this, this went down, she ran off to where the Onassis guy is, or was. JFK had his brother. Now, I heard Ted. I don't know if his brother's names, but I'm I'm pretty sure there's three of them. I remember one being named Bobby because he was the youngest, but I don't remember the, the other one, but I'm pretty sure it's Ted. That's what I heard. He had Ted call Jackie and tell her to come back home. He was already the president at this time, okay? He told her he would never let her leave or would there ever be a divorce? Now, him being president, of course, Jackie knows that that's be fighting a losing battle. So, she was done with JFK at this point. He'd already broken her heart and broken her down. She was already in a relationship with Onassis. And the way that they viewed it, because he was going to be president, this is the beginning of his presidency, so he got four years there. And the discontent between Jackie and JFK grew to be a really white hot hate is the best way I can I can describe how that made my chest feel. She absolutely loathed the man. I mean, if he would breathe, it would just grate her nerves. So she was done. She was already in a relationship with Onassis. And the thought of four years being stuck under that and being publicly humiliated time after time with his indiscretions and his cheap women she was from a highfalutin societal family, or well, from the bloodline. That was uh, very, uh, very degrading and humiliating to her. There was nothing worse than that right there. And there's nothing like a woman scorned. So, the best way to just solve the problem all together without it being, and they had kids together too. So now you know it would have got messy. Just have, just eliminate the whole problem altogether. So I want to do a reading and see if this movie that just got shot to my head is the truth because I feel like it is. It makes complete sense. Now, and here's here's another little thing that went off, you know, alarm bells that went off in my head. <coughs> I don't remember what the guy's name was, but he was head of um, that particular uh, CIA troop or, or Secret Service or whatever. He said he recalled that when they were standing outside the hospital and he was had to go tell Jackie that the president was dead, that how he recalled her standing there in a pale baby blue suit and he could see JFK's brains, blood, brain matter, everything all over her suit. 
and for three days they tried to get her to shower and get out of that suit to get you know and she wouldn't do it so they thought that it was just you know a widow grieving you know that's the last of her husband that's you know that's going to be be available to her now that he's passed on but that wasn't what it was y'all this woman was wallering in duper's delights for killing this man and furthermore, it, she's never been looked at, to my knowledge. They, I don't, I don't know how Jack, Jack Ruby and um, um, Oswald factor into this, but that'd be another, another read for another day. But scapegoats. Well, I know, but how, how did they? You know, you know they, they, they're methodical and calculated. They ever move everything planned right down to it. They're not just gonna be like, oh, okay, we're gonna take this guy off the street and let him be the fall guy. I don't know why they picked them, but it kept the eyes on Jackie. That's what I'm saying. Have you ever heard that she's ever been, you know, it was always her being the grieving widow. And, you know, the, the thing that stands out to me most in, in learning about JFK's death was um, the son. What was his name? He was killed in a, a plane crash. Or they, Junior, junior uh, saluting his daddy as the casket went by. That's uh, that's the only thing. I, 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 anybody that was alive during that time or has any, any interest in the, the whole JFK conspiracy. Tell me what you remember from that funeral. That's all you remember, isn't it? Is Junior standing there at three years old, saluting the casket, and how it just it was devastating for for Jackie. But oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm asking to channel the energy of JFK for all these years. There, no, there's been no justice or no peace. Got this reading so we can get the answers and what happened. Firm, finally, first and foremost, once and for all, circumstances surrounding your death. Now, I do have, I do have some questions, certain questions for for this one that I wrote out. So, here we go. What is the truth in this that I saw? As far as Jackie being the complete conspirator in JFK's death. What was the driving force or the influence behind having him capped? What was Jackie's agenda in his death? What role did the government play in JFK's death? What was the government's agenda? And JFK being dead. How the events unfolded. The energy surrounding the day that JFK was shot and killed. Assassinated. JFK state of mind. What he was feeling. What he was thinking. I want to know if. Surely, did this man see any signs of this? Did he have a foreboding feeling? Did he know something wasn't right? Did he suspect Jackie? Did he think Jackie was capable of that? So many questions on, on that forefront. To be answered anyway. Something unknown about JFK's death and assassination. And as always, the last word from the cards. Ooh. -woo. All right, let's start off with this first card. This first card is going to reveal to us the truth and the thing or the vision or premonition, whatever, after mission, I guess it would be, that I saw. And it is the Knight of Wands reversed. That's indicating things not going as expected. Um, it's being overly confident, cocky. It's also a card of Sudden, unexpected departures and canceled travel. All right, let's go on and see what it. Let's put this together as it goes. Um, driving force or the influence behind orchestrating JFK's death. It's going to be the Three of Wands, and that represents freedom, adventure, travel, moving abroad, uh, foreign lands. It shows a success, being happy with your choices or the outcome of your situation. Uh, it foretells the foresight, planning. It represents romances and long-distance relationships. Well, if that does not answer that vision of Jackie being the complete 
sole conspirator and the orchestrator, she called the hit on JFK. Right there, it tells it all up to you right there. Freedom, adventure, travel. That's all all about her relationship with Onassis. I'm wanting to say he's in, in, in Greece. Will you look and see if he's if it's Greece? I'm pretty sure it's Greece. I can't stand it not knowing because I, I'm sure it is. Uh, the next card is going to show us what Jackie's agenda in JFK's death would be. And that's the world card. That's having the world at your feet, literally. New worlds opening up to you. Um, it's showing someone that's went through the trials and tribulations of a very long and difficult, emotional and painful journey. It's now being able to reap the rewards. Yeah, this this is this is all Jackie O. Next card is going to show us the government's role in JFK's death, and that is going to be the Nine of Cups reversed. That's a, a representation of getting something that you wanted, but it not being how it's supposed to be. It's a representation of unhappiness, lack of fulfillment, feeling disappointed in someone or something or a situation. And it also is an indication of uh, disorders and addictions. So what this looks like to me right here is just like all the other puppets of the um, elite in the bloodline, you have a script and an agenda to follow. Looks to me like JFK got in there and became overly confident and inflated and cocky that he was the president of the United States, goddammit, so he could do what he wants and say what he wants. He didn't follow the script. So... They've got him in office. I'm thinking against somebody up high's better judgment. They didn't want him being president to, from the jump. But uh, regardless, he, he got in there, but he wasn't doing what he was supposed to have done, what his agreement, his obligations to fulfill while being in office. They, got, they were disappointed in him. And I think that Mr. Kennedy had... Some really serious addictions. I think he was an alcoholic. I think he was one of those drunks that would uh, just beat the shit out of you. I mean, beat you to death. I, I mean, truly, just uh, literally, figuratively, beat you to death and then wake up the next day and either not remember it or he didn't do that or, you know, we just don't talk about it or, or something of that, of that sort. And I think along with that that he had a thing for sex and women. He couldn't have been faithful to anybody. And I think while with those women, especially Marilyn Monroe, he was tempted to do drugs as well. And I think the government was starving his shit. This is what that looks like to me. So Mr. Kennedy wasn't the hero that he's been portrayed to be in death. Now the next one is going to show the government's agenda, what uh, they gain from, or what their agenda is in... Um, JFK's death is Knight of Cups reversed. That represents revoked offers, bad news, withdrawn invitation. Not only that, this is also expected as an adult male who at first appears to be um, charming and trustworthy. But turns out he's disloyal, passive aggressive, he's a commitment foe, manipulator, cheater, and a heartbreaker. Tell me if that ain't JFK up and down from what I'm hearing here. So... They've, uh, they've uh, cracked down on him. They're just going to take him on out. He, he, he wouldn't, uh, now to hear these two knights being aspected across from each other, one being up and one being down or both in reverse shows a rival, a rival. I'd say his rival was Jackie, either Jackie or on Asus one. What would you say? It, it was Jackie. In the household, I mean, they, they were going head button heads all the time. Well, this is coming up twice as a as a rival because it comes up again. Check this out. Um, this next card is going to show us how the events of his death unfolded. Well, that would be the events of the trip to Texas, I guess. And that's going to be the Page of Cups. That's a bringer of good news in the form of invitations to social events, um, and or a potential. Potential for a romantic liaison. It represents glamour, beauty, and fashion. They told this man 
this is how they got him to Texas. I bet you he started getting real combative, like refusing to do the things they were telling him to do, like do, uh, press conferences or interviews or speeches or addresses. I'm telling you, this one got, this, you, you take people that, a little bit of fame or power or authority goes to their head. This was magnified. And he's got an addictive personality anyway. So that's not going to fare out well being the President of the United States, the most supposedly the most powerful man in the world. So I, he, he turned into a little 14 year old brat. They was all the time having to clean up his messes. So they wrangled him by telling him bumping his head and him being in that motorcade and that parade about how the people of Texas loved him, stroking that ego, and then even had a, a woman down there waiting on him to have a liaison with. That's how they got him down there. So the next card is going to be the energy surrounding um, JFK's death, and that is going to be the Page of Swords reversed. That's been manipulative, cunning, and spreading unreliable or providing unreliable info. That was the energy surrounding his death. So they manipulated him, cunned him, and told him false info. <laughs> Damn. Now, here, here we go. Here's what I'm talking about. Another bunch of rival. Two pages aspected. One up, one down. One reversed and one upright. Signifies a rival. This is a, like I said, I felt a hot, white hatred heat in my chest burning from her. So, this rival twice means that's a dark, it's either me or you rival. It, it, the town's not big enough for both of us. Art of War. Well, that's, that's Jackie O right there. Now, this next card is going to uh, reveal JFK's state of mind. Like I said, did he know? Did he have any feelings? Whatever. That's the Queen of Swords. Now, this card, this is interesting. This card is traditionally known as the Widow card. It signifies single parents. Having the ability as well to see the bigger picture. So he knew something was going on that all wasn't right in the world because he fucked up everywhere. He had, the government was pissed at him. They had a hit on him. His wife was. I, and I, I'm going I'm to tell you, I really feel like, and this is not speaking ill of the dead, but there becomes a time where you don't glorify or throne the dead just because they're dead. The truth is the truth. That's where the justice lies. Now, I'm not saying anybody is worthy of just snatching somebody's life. I don't feel like that that's justifiable. I'm just saying. We all ride the karma train. We all ride it. Nobody's address is, is exempt. But JFK, in front of the camera and in front of the John Q. public, was a hero, um, a genius, uh, a problem solver, Blah, 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 blah. But behind closed doors, he was a drunk. He couldn't keep his hands to himself. And I feel like he beat Jackie and those kids. I feel like that he put her through some serious, serious, not only just physical abuse, but the mental, the mind fuck. That's what Making her feel like that everything was her fault and this wouldn't have happened, you know, I feel like he mind fucked her. Above any, above all, and that's probably where this white, that's where this white hot hatred, I can't say it, that <laughs> white hot hatred is coming from, the mindfuck of it all, because you know, you just hurt somebody by cheating on them or humiliating them, but now you mindfuck them and you try to fuck with their heads, that's a whole totally different uh, level of um, karmic justice for, for both, for both, I feel like he was a, a real low life piece of shit, that's just the best way I can say it. Now, the next one is going to reveal to us something unknown, and that's going to be the Six of Swords. Here we go. Represents moving into calmer waters, moving on, moving forward. Uh, this card is a card that shows you've overcome hardship. You're going through a healing and a relief period. Problems in your life settling down. It also represents escaping, running away, traveling overseas. So see, this, this affirms it right here. Moving on, moving forward, calmer waters, healing, relief, problems, escaping, running away. This man was the devil incarnate. He was impossible. He was impossible. That's why the government just says, fuck it, we'll just take him out. We'll just take him out. We ain't, we ain't fooling with this bullshit. 
Now, the last is going to be the last words from the cards. It's a four of wands reversed. That represents unhappy family being jilted, and it signifies leaving home. That tied it all together. Now, Jackie Onassis, but no Nasis Onassis, how you want to say it. Jackie O was definitely a woman scorned, but above and beyond, she was a woman who was battered. Every day of her life was an ongoing battle with this man, whether it was mental, physical, whether she had to sit back and watch him walk out the door knowing that he was going to go out and embarrass her and betray her and have uh, these indiscretions right, right in public and drinking and uh, snorting cocaine. I see the snorting of the cocaine. And all these girls and these young women, too, um, that... The government and secret, or the CIA and the Secret Service took to back alley abortion clinics. That was carrying the president's baby while she was having all these miscarriages. Now that right there. I mean, there's just so many levels of, of the baggage that was on this woman's shoulders. And like I said, I'm not condoning or saying it's right, but I mean, I, who's to say what you would do in, in that severe of a situation and having three kids that you know? If you just, you simply, you, you, there's no simple getting up, walking out, and, and divorcing. Somebody's going to die. That's the only way that, that's the only way the other survives. If that makes sense. Well, you all, this has been a, a real treat because. I truly, in my heart, <laughs> feel like I have solved the JFK conspiracy theory. And once again, none of us ever, ever even caught a half eye in Jackie's direction. The grieving widow. Man, I swear I've been duped. Tupac. Suge Knight. You're getting shown the truth. I, I, accept, I accept this as a church. I do. I do. Anybody has any other uh, ideas or anything that they seen in the cards that, that we didn't see, be sure to comment and let us know because I swear I do. I feel, I feel completion as far as JFK. I feel like it's, it, the book's closed. JFK, use an ass. Man. Next round, be a good guy. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time to spend and watch this reading and explore this. Sweet, we've solved the case, guys. What do I feel like Blue's Clues? <laughs> Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.